and we're in a nice peaceful place, the Zoro's Domain. I like this music, it's so soothing. Too bad things coming up won't be so soothing. Zoro's Domain, wow, didn't you already tell me that? So yeah, the Zoras are basically these humanoid fish mutant thingamabobs. And well, they should have the next spiritual stone, shouldn't they? Who are you? We are the Zoras, the proud aquatic people. So, you say you have some connection with the Hyrule's royal family? Well, what do you want from us? I want your stone! Well, anyway, no matter what Zora you talk to here first time, they will always give you that dialogue. This place is a shop. They sell fish for 200 rupees. A <laughs> yuck. I have no idea why I went a yuck. Well, anyway, before we do anything here, we can get another heart piece if we go up to th this area, which is the throne of King Zora, and he is one fat person. Well, fish person mutant. So anyway, quickly take a Deku stick, take it downstairs, then light this up. Okay, this will stay lit permanently now. Best to take out the stick, then relight it here. And then go around here and light the torches around the shop. Uh, oh no. Okay, good. Okay, quickly. There's another one here. That's very illogical that. I'm rolling with a stick that is on fire in the wall and it doesn't extinguish it. Okay, quickly go behind the wall for there's two more torches. By lighting them up we make a treasure chest appear. And our deco stick is still burning away. Open so let's just check the chest. And for doing that we get a piece of heart. So now we have yet another heart container, so now we are up to a total of eight hearts. I don't need these sticks anymore, let's get rid of the blighters. Okay. So now Let's go have a chat with the king so that we can bribe him into giving us his precious stone. The land of Hyrule is at stake, you know. You gotta give me that stone or I'll bomb ya. Talk to me. Oh, my dear sweet Princess Ruto, where has she gone? I'm so worried. Oh great, she's wa she's too worried about his daughter to help us out. Well, ignore him for the time being and go over here. Talk to this Zora. This is a requirement. Diving game, 20 rupees, want to play? Okay! Pick up all the rupees I throw from here. You only have a limited amount of time. When you pick them all up, come back here. I'll give you something very nice. Yeah, that's a great way to get people to do things for you. Just say you give them something nice. So he drops 25 rupees into the water, and we basically got to jump off the wall, jump down, and pick them all up. You get plenty of time for this, and you gain 25 rupees from this. But even though you spent 20 rupees to play the game, you're only really gaining 5 rupees, assuming you collect them all, of course. Okay. Very, very easy. Hey, congratulations, I got something very nice for you. Come and get it. Now we have to climb all the way back up there to the top of the waterfall. And make sure you don't leave Zora's domain, otherwise you will have to play the mini game again. Which is a real bummer. Way to go Nintendo. Glitch! And I'm even gonna test it. I'm even gonna test this glitch if you want to call it that, in the 3DS Remake and see if it happens there. Hmm, while they add it, remove that bomb to hover glitch, because that is just utterly game-breaking. And I can't even do it. What a graceful dive. Here, please take this. This is a scale of our kind. With this, you can dive much deeper under the water. 
you got the silver scale. Jump into the water and press A. Basically, we can dive for up to six um, seconds, if you will, or meters, whatever that number means. Whoa! So anyway, if we dive now, you can see the number on our action icon is no longer a three, but now a six. So basically, we can dive much further. And you can also see the hole under the water. Oh, hi. Have you seen Lord Jabu Jabu? Um, no, I haven't. Oh, that's not good. Everybody who comes around here should see Lord Jabu Jabu at least once. Huh. Uh, says you. Zora's fountain is just beyond King Zora's throne. That is where Lord Jabu Jabu swims, but unless you have King Zora's permission, you can't go to Zora's fountain. Huh, Lord Jabu Jabu, huh? What a unusual name. And a bringer of bad memories. And we teleported all the way down south. To Lake Hylia. This is where all the water that flows from Zora's river comes from, basically. So yeah, you got Zora's domain, you also got Zora's fountain at the top. So the fountain, all the water from the fountain goes down the river and ends up here. Okay, if we take a look. What's that? There's something highly suspicious in the water so if we can dive down with our new silver scale and get it I got the empty but that's not empty it's got a piece of aluminium foil in it <laughs> what something's already inside whoa game way to go yeah there's other things we can do in Lake Kylia like there's the fishing mini game over there but I don't really like the fishing minigame, so I'm actually gonna leave that for just a little longer if you don't mind. Besides, I've done enough side quests consecutively. I am still gonna hang around the lake and do some, some other things like talk to the scarecrow, who can somehow talk. I am Brunuru. Brunuru, the scarecrow musical genius. Once I hear a song, I never forget it, baby. That's a hint to something. Well, you have an ocarina. Hey, why don't you lay a tune on me with it baby okay here you you're gonna have to play him a eight note song it can be anything you want but just as long as you can remember it for later I always like to do up down left right up down left right because well it's easy to remember not only that but it sounds kind of catchy well not bad I will remember it for you anyway I don't mean I can remember only eight notes, but let's just cut it right there for now, baby. So whatever you played for him now, you will want to remember that for later on. Okay, so if we head over to the exit of Lake Hylia, we can actually get something. Oh, yeah, I do have what I need for it. Okay, Moonwalk. Okay, so this is the... We're back in Hyrule Field and Kebra Gebra's over there. He's gonna end up talking to us if we get too close. Just tell us some stuff about Lake Hylia. Oh no, I'm not gonna make that. Oh great, I've gotta climb up the ladder again. Pitiful waste. Come on. It's bad enough that I have to talk to that damn owl again. But I'm gonna do my best. Okay. So in this fence, in this area here, you want to bomb the center of it. Your Stone of Agony will respawn here, unless you're playing the Virtual Console version. Okay, go for the hole! Can I, can I possibly... Yes! I avoided talking to Kepra Gebra. Yes! Okay, there's some dirty puddles here and a business scrub. Alright, you win. In return for sparing me, I will sell you a piece of heart. One piece for 10 rupees. Yeah, 10 rupees. So we got another piece of heart. He's gonna drop something. Oh, oh, a 3 rupee money back thing. So I only really spent 7 rupees. Okay, I have a bad feeling that coming out of here will make me talk to him. 
No? Oh, good. Okay. Haha, <laughs> screw you, owl. No talking to you today. To get back to Lake Hylia, it's easy. You just gotta climb the ladder. Because those black fences are too high for you to climb. Hey, Amma, how did you get up here? I'm sorry, but that was just scary. I was like, on top, on top of stone, brick, and yet the stall child borrowed his way up the brick wall. And to me, that is just scary. Well, anyway. For some reason, entering Lake Kylie this way gets us this inskippable intro. Unskippable intro. Okay. Okay. Oh, damn it, I don't have a bug with me. Oh, wait, I can get some bugs from where the scarecrows are. Of course. Alright. But first off, this away. Go to Goat Chiller, we can get. I think. I don't really know. This building here, on the side of it, there's a ghost coachula. I think it's possible to get this now. No, that is not possible. Oh, well, we can go over these bridges and a familiar face. You can see him, right? Kepra Gebra. Oh, boy. How does he hang around like this, wherever he wants? But this time, we are given the option to talk with him. But for now, I'm just gonna grab this and his... Fat body won't let me pull on the grave too. So I guess I'm gonna have to talk to him. What are you doing? None of your effing business. You've come a long way to get up here. You should look at the map subscreen sometimes. Didn't I already do that? Huh, nice scenery though. Link, this is a beautiful lake full of pure clean water. It's not like anybody urinated in it. No, not at all. It's safe to swim in. At the lake bottom, there is a water temple used to worship the water spirits. The Zoras are guardians of the temple. Hoo hoo! The Zoras come from Zoras' domain in northeast Hyrule, an aquatic race. They are longtime allies of Hyrule's royal family. I heard that only the royal family of Hyrule can enter Zoras' domain. Hoot hoot! I'm on my way back to the castle. If you want to come with me, hold on to my chance. Okay, this is another place where he can fly you off to another place. He'll take you back to the outside of Castle Town, but I don't want to go there, so ignore that. Okay, I'm going for a swim. Watch out for the blue tech tykes, of course. They're the ones that can, well, be on the water surface. Okay, if you keep mashing the B button, you can actually swim faster than normal. So just keep mashing. Oh, here's Zora. Oh, crap. I didn't want to dive in an awkward spot. I am a Zora. Have you seen a pretty Zora girl around here? Pretty girl. Snivy! Oh, a Zora. Well, I do appreciate the compliment. You mean a human fish hybrid? No, I haven't. Because all but one of the Zora models I've seen so far all look the same. The only one that looks any different is the king himself. So anyway, there are some bugs over here, just let me... Oh, okay. There are some bugs where the scarecrows are, so I can get a refill, if you will. Just cut down. Okay, there we go. I got a green rupee. Okay, that's unusual. So anyway, there's a patch of soft soil just outside that building over there. So I'm just gonna dump these bugs in there. Move it. Okay. So, just put the bugs in here. Quickly catch one. Because that's not the last of the soft soil we've seen. Get in there with your brother! Okay, get ready. Here he comes! Damn it. And there we go. Okay. Remember that empty bottle that wasn't so empty that we found? There was a letter inside it. 
how's about we have a quick look at it? Wow, I like the way Link empties the... Couldn't he just, like, reach his hand in there? But no, he just, like, pours it in his head. Huh? It looks like there is something already inside this bottle. It's a letter. Help me. I'm waiting for you inside Lord Jabu Jabu's belly. Ruto. P.S. Don't tell my father. For the love of God, do not tell my father. You know what? Let's break the rule. Let's tell her father. Let's grass on her. Yeah, let's grass on her like all the bullies at school do. Well, anyway, we have no choice but to tell her. Tell his father, that is. Tell her father. Because otherwise, no story in... In hand... In... Ch in... Well, we can't progress the story. Story progression. That's it. Sheesh. None of this is scripted, you know, so sometimes I lose words. So if it looks like I'm stuttering, it's because it's unscripted. If I hesitate, same thing. So anyway, with a letter in a bottle, we have to talk to the king himself. Which is lovely. Because it won't be long before I do my least favourite part of the entire game. Okay, so, yo king, yo kingmeister, I got something for ya. Oh, this letter, it's from Princess Ruto. Hmm, let's see. She's inside Lord Jabu Jabu? That's not possible. Anything is possible, thanks to Nintendo logic. Our guardian god, Lord Jabu Jabu, would never eat my dear Princess Ruto. Well, guess again. But since that stranger, Ganondorf, came here, Lord Jabu Jabu has been feeling a little green around the gills. The evidence seems clear. Of course, you go find Ruto. You can pass through here to the altar of Lord Jabu Jabu. I'll keep this letter. You keep the bottle it was in. Take it respectfully. Oh, respectfully. Hey, I found it in the first place. Please find my dear Princess Ruto immediately. Zora. So now he's going to move out the way and let us through to Zora's fountain where Jabu Jabu is. Um, I, I be it very slowly. Move your fat royal ass already. Ugh. I've seen Slowpoke move faster than you. Oh wait. A wee, a wee, a wee, a wee wee. Okay, sure, why not? Ah, uh, stop bumping the mic, me, sissy. Don't make me punch you in the face. I'm talking to myself about punching myself in the face. Okay. So anyway, coming out here, we are now in Zora's Fountain, the source of all water in Hyrule. And that giant fish over there is Lord Jabu Jabu. Yeah, that giant fish with the derpy-like eyes is Jabu Jabu. But you're probably wondering by now, hmm, well, don't disturb Lord Jabu Jabu, says King Zora the 16th. Oh, don't disturb him. I'm just going to shoot him in the eyeballs. Oh, sorry, I disturbed him. Now in the nose. And of course he's wearing a crown. So you're probably wondering. So where's the next dungeon? Well I hate to bait the news to you. But this thing is the next dungeon. Yes. They squeezed a dungeon inside an already giant fish. But before we tr attempt to go inside his body. There's something we can do. Right around here. We want to get our bombs ready. Now this isn't this isn't very obvious, but over there that wall can be bombed, and also roll into the tree. You get a ghost culture. So anyway, you just want to bomb this wall. It's not made clear exactly on at all. Grey boulder cannot do anything about that until much later. Okay, so now a great berries found in. It's time to get something. Something. Now what we're about to get is not required to beat the game, but you know I'm a hundred percent in, so let's go for it. 
time to meet another literally eye popping great fairy. Look at those pointers! They are eye popping! Quite literally! Those things will take your eyes out! Welcome, Link. I am the great fairy of magic. <laughs> I'll give you a magic spell. Please take it. Ooh, green glow. Is this the Kokeri's emerald all over again? No, it isn't, actually. You got... Fiori's wind. This is warp magic you can use with C. Warp when you are in danger. You will teleport to the warp point. When you first use the magic, you create a, a warp point. Sorry, that was kind of an awkward burp. When you use the magic again, you can either dispel the warp point or you create last time or warp to the point. This will only work inside dungeons, as the fairy is about to say. You can only use Fiori's Wind in dungeons that have a dungeon map inside. Okay. And how convenient, because we're about to go into a dungeon with a dungeon map. I be inside a giant fish! So, it takes up this slot here. And as you can see, there's, well, there's three magic spells in the game total. Three total magic spells. Only one of them is needed to beat the game. Okay, so... I'm gonna stop the video right here. That's right. Sorry, no jabble jabbo Until next time. <laughs> Besides, I haven't told you how you actually get inside him yet because, well, he's not gonna make it easy for us. Still, he is fun to shoot in the eyes though, because he doesn't respond. He's like Vista. Windows Vista. He doesn't respond when you do something to him. So next time on Let's Play Zelda Ocarina of Time, we are going to enter Lord Jabu Jabu in the hopes of finding Princess Ruto. So until next time, see you later. It's going in the eye unless you swallow. Ew. I will never I don't want to say that ever again. <laughs>